coming up, including uh, the very famous origami rack, and this is really what yep. started it all. If you go to hsn.com, and it's interesting, over the next several items, should, um, I'm going to try to read some of the reviews. They're incredible, and they're page after can. page of perfect five stars. Because we all need organizational solutions. We don't want a big hassle. We want it to be really well made. And that's what origami really represents. And this started it all. I own two of these. I loved it. It's the way I started in origami. And boy, I'll tell you, if you're trying to get all your crafting supplies or really quite anything, quite frankly, anything organized in your home, we love the large wrap because you need a lot of space to be able to organize a lot of stuff. And Lou, yes, we have a whole lot of colors. We have a lot. Let's do the colors because okay. we have so many colors to go through. <laughs> There's a lot. On this. Um, the one that I'm going to be using to demonstrate today is the pewter because that's the one that's nearest and dearest to my heart because it's the original. That's what I have. This is the original color right here. So let's start with this guy. Here's the uh, pewter. And right there, we're seeing it in the living room. Here it is. So this is the pewter color right here, the original color, that mottled finish of the black and gray. I'm gonna just push this guy off to the side and let's go over to where Suzanne is. And look at that. Now, going around the back here, we've got the black, we've got the uh, beautiful glossy white, we've got the vintage bronze over here, and then we've got the purple. Mm -hmm. And then things get really fun here go, because, here we go. <laughs> Here is the red color right here. Brand new red color, origami red we call it. All right, next one, coming in. We have got the fuchsia amethyst. This is the amethyst. And you're gonna see why I said it like that though. Here, let me have that one. Here's the fuchsia. I'm gonna put these two side by side so you can see the difference right there. Fuchsia so amethyst, and amethyst. Fuchsia. Okay. Yeah, fuchsia over here. Amethyst over here. Okay, so those are those two. Now, we got a lot of greens. <laughs> Here's the sage. Here comes. And we have 40 of the sage. The mint. Oh, the mint's brighter. The mint brighter. is brighter. Here comes, you want to see brighter. This is the jade. Jade, nice. <laughs> then we have the teal incoming. <laughs> we got the teal. This is a palette of green. Oh, yeah. And then we have the turquoise. Okay, from that end, go down. Okay, turquoise, teal, jade, mint. Sage. Got it. Okay, so that's those. But we're not done as we We're say. not done yet. <laughs> People at home are going like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so many colors, so little time. Hang on. <laughs> we haven't even shown you how it goes down. We're, we're almost there, people. <laughs> we'll get there. Then, orange. This is brand oh, spanking new, like as of Saturday. That's this like is brand, hunter orange. And that is, that's it's cool. amazing color. If you're a Clemson fan. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have the navy blue. And if you put that blue and orange together, it's a whole different thing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And then we have oh, right here the platinum color, the one that's closest to stainless steel. So those are all the colors. Now, let me tell you what this is. This is the large origami rack that started the entire origami trend. This guy right here, okay, when you see it, is 12 linear feet of storage the way it looks right now. Each shelf is three feet long. They're 18 inches deep. It stands about 50 inches tall, okay? What I'm going to do is... Five feet tall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this just like that. That's how it's gonna arrive at your house, flat packed in a box, in a cardboard box. It's about four inches wide when you get this home. Now, the thing about this is the hardest thing about setting up your origami is going to be getting it out of the cardboard. That's it. That is the hardest part <laughs> because all you have to do is grab the sides and it just falls open. Then on the back here is the world famous origami toggle. All you've got to do is push this through here and push down. And now the bottom of this is secured. We flip the top over and we're good to go. Just put that one little latch in place like this. And that's it. So this is assembled at this point. Um, the only thing you have to decide is do you want the wheels on it or not? If you do put the wheels on it as we have here, by the way, there's a set of locking wheels that comes with this. Uh, you, we recommend, because it's about three inches off the ground now, that you limit yourself to about 75 pounds on each one of these shelves for a total of 300 pounds. I say it like that's not a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a lot that's of weight. That's a lot of stuff. And it's weight that you can push around. Now, without the wheels on it, though, you can go up to 250 pounds per shelf for a total of 1,000 pounds. That's half a ton on this rack. And that's one of the reasons why this is a customer pick. That's I mean, right. Flat out. Now, here's what we did tonight specifically. This was originally going to be 129. We 
knocked another $10 off. So we're at $119.95. We have free shipping. And again, because it's our big crafting event, you will qualify for the five flex pays. So you can get it tonight and pay it off in five months. This is really such a unique shelving system because if you've got that unorganized space that drives you crazy, mm -hmm. it's outside. For me, it was my crafting stuff. I have all my Cricut on here. I have my Singer sewing machines yep. on mine. I use mine as kind of a mini linen closet as well. You want to get it organized. You don't want it to bow. You don't want to get particle board. Those plastic shelves you spend a fortune for, they're hard to put together. And you yep. know, no one's touching that plastic shelf out in the garage because if you take a paint can off, the whole thing's going to fall <laughs> over. True. You know that. Yeah, no, and it's very true. This is the true. way you want to go. Yeah. I would never, I'll be really honest with you. I yeah. went to, a, um, to the aisle where they had all the shelving at the local hardware store, right? Sure. And I looked at it. It was very complicated. It was permanent and mm -hmm. it was expensive. And I thought, why would anybody in their right mind buy that when right. origami is the real solution? You know what? I think it's because a lot of people don't know about origami, quite I frankly. Because I think I if really they do. did, they would, you would never, never. buy those yeah. permanent shelves. Yeah. And you know, and it's funny too, because with origami, once you know about it and you get it home, you start finding places to use it. Yeah. For instance, you know, we were talking earlier about how my wife Kelly is a crafter, okay? She has a lot of crafting stuff. She has a craft room now, still not enough space. Mm -hmm. So she has has a teal, one of the teal origami racks, just like one of these, sitting inside a walk-in closet. And that's her craft supplies. And when she's working, she just wheels it, it out. out. Yeah, and she's got everything right there. And it's nice because it's just a small walk-in closet, but we added 12 linear feet of storage to that walk-in closet. Right. You Think made about it that. smart space now. It's smart space now, right. yeah. Right. All that vertical storage. Well, I mean, for, and for a lot of us, you know what? We might just use it in the garage, and that's awesome because these are some of the best garage shelves you're ever going to get. If you look at this, you were talking about how these shelves don't bend and bow. You're not kidding because I've put uh, pavers on mine, cinder blocks, river rocks, all kinds of things. Look at, Look at all the firewood on the bottom here. And that's a good amount of wood. I mean, that's like four or five trips back and forth to move that. And, and yet... It's not bowing one no. iota. Right. And look how easily... I'm, I'm, look, look, one finger, one finger. Look at that. There's the whole thing. Yeah. And that's because the wheels on these are so good. So when we say you can move up to 300 pounds on these, we're not kidding. You can move up to 300 pounds on this guy. But by the way, if you get everything off the floor in your garage, you know what goes in there? Your car. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. And can you imagine lifting 300 pounds? Exactly. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> how else are you gonna move it? Right. We were kidding around the other day talking about this, like how would you move 300 pounds around your house? And someone said, well, I pushed my husband. I'm like, no, <laughs> that is not right. You can't say that. Okay. Here's a white one, okay? And this is a beautiful glossy white. We have it propped out here for the laundry room. That's great. This is awesome to carry the laundry baskets, push them around actually, mm -hmm. the house. Um, so many laundry rooms don't have storage, like right. none. Right. You know, so people wind up putting one of those wire shelves like, up. Oh, you know, I'm going to custom design my laundry room. Don't do it. Just get this. Yes. You know, that's all you need. And it looks custom designed. It looks custom designed. And the other thing, too, is this is powder coated steel. And, you know, we, we can't say that enough because listen to this. First of all, talk about solid. I mean, you hear that? Mm -hmm. This is a nice piece of uh, steel right here. Powder coated steel. As much as I hit this, I can't scratch it. I can't, you know, uh, chip it. I'm not going to do that because of the powder coating process that goes into this. It's way better than painted. And that's how we can make the claim that these are corrosion resistant as well. So if you want to use these outdoors, right. you that's absolutely great. can. You don't need to worry about them. How long have you had yours? Well, since we launched them, when since did we launch them? That's eight years ago Has almost it been now. eight years? Yeah. Eight years. And do you know they've never, they don't rush, they don't chip. And you know what's funny? That's we right. never collapse them. That is the craziest thing. When you see origami, everybody's like, oh, look at that. It stores in yeah. that little sliver. Yeah. They are so brilliant that you will keep using them. Mine have never been collapsed Isn't down. Isn't that funny? Actually, we actually moved mine. I started out using them in one room for all my crafting stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I got my own kind of little, you know, cabinetry and blah, blah, blah. I made a crafting space. Right. So then we moved them to, we have a storage space that we pay every month for. Yep, we too. were able to get a smaller storage space because I rolled my origamis inside there. Exactly. And it's, you guys, you, you save a lot of money just using this little tip. And what happens is I had to get in there because some of my crafting supplies are yeah. in the storage. Yeah. I have, like Kelly, I've got a lot. You know what I do? I roll one out, I get to the next one. Exactly. When I get what I need, I roll the other one back, and then I go to my house with my storage items or with the things I have in storage. It's amazing what you can do. If you've got a closet that's hot mess and you're just like, oh, I can never find anything, get a couple of these and totally transform your closet oh, yeah. with using the large rack. Yeah.
Yeah, if you have a closet, a lot of times you move into a new house and there's nothing in there. I mean, it's just like, it's an empty room, basically. Right. You know, With like one a little, little wimpy shelf. Exactly. And then it's got that one little bar to hang stuff right. on. So you just roll one of these in there and you instantly have shelving put in there. And it's right. so much easier than building shelving or, you know, any other solution that I can think of. I mean, it really is simple. But you know what? I just brought a couple out here because I want to show everybody exactly what you were talking about. Yeah, for the garage, for your storage, anything like that. You can put these side by side. I mean, like right up against each other, okay? And maximize whatever space you're using. And it sounds crazy because in my storage unit, I've got a wide one and I've got two rows of these like this, three, yeah. three, three and three, okay? Right. I just grab the one in the middle and pull it out when I need to get make it access to the ones in the back or anything. That's right. And that's really cool because I can get in here, you know, sometimes I'll take all of them out and put them out in the hallway at the storage place. People look at me like I've lost my mind, you know, because it's just all my stuff all over. Right. But the thing is, you, it, you know, for you, it maximizes the space in one. It saved me from having to get a second storage unit. That's right. You know? We have a smaller storage unit but simply because I have the large rack sitting in there. Right. Because if not, because now you get vertical space. Oh, here's the other thing about storage. Let's say it's your attic. Let's say it's your basement. Yeah. How many times do you have box or tote after tote after tote all piled on each other and nobody opens up that bottom tote. No. Because everything on top is so heavy, right. you don't have the muscle strength and you don't want to pull all of them down just to get to that bottom tote. This changes that too. You know how my world works though? It's always the thing in the bottom tote that I need. You have to get. And isn't it horrible? You don't even know what's in that bottom no, tote. No, you don't know. So you've got to, you've got to look right. at all of them. With right. the org and that's, that really is, in the storage unit, that's one of the greatest things. Yes. Is that we don't have to do that. One other tip I learned too, when you get your things, for instance, Christmas decorations, you have all these huge tubs, because right. I do the whole house up, right? Right? Kelly does the inside, I do the outside. All these big tubs. I learned a long time ago, wheel everything down to your vehicle with your origami rack. Don't wait for the carts at the storage place because you're going to be there a long time. Oh, okay? true. Yeah. Take the rack with you so when you get to your house and you're in your garage, all those tubs aren't just sitting there. You can put them on the rack in your garage. Oh, that's true. And then yeah, before you take them back. I mean, so it's just something I learned. What about this, though? I love it. What about it. for the office? Because people sometimes think it's just storage. It's furniture. Look how good. Th this is the vintage bronze. And when you look at this, I mean, look at everything we fit on here. Remember, these are 18-inch deep shelves. I mean, shelves. this is a full-size printer right full here. Full-size printer. Right. And it's an 18-inch deep shelf. That's not, like, I mean, here, I'm going to push it back just so people can see. Look how much yeah. extra yeah, space. Yeah, we have, there's actually a whole bunch of, probably about I mean, another six inches in the front yeah, of that. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, so that's the thing about this. And so it looks good enough to use in your office. I don't care if it's an office out of the home or in the home. This is the best office it's furniture a, And it's buy. a great gaming station, too. Yeah. If you've got a TV you want to put here, it can put a pretty big size TV, put all your games, the gaming stuff. I love the baskets down below. Mm -hmm. Throw all the games and toys inside there. It's just, you don't understand how awesome the origami is until you get it at home and you start using it. Then you'd be like, oh man. And who writes reviews on shelves? When was the last time you had that particle board shelf in your garage and you're like, I love this thing so much, I'm going to go <laughs> write a review. I literally have no lie. Right now I have, sorry Lou, I've got no, you're fine. one, one two, mm -hmm. three pages, and they could have probably printed out 10 more of perfect five-star review on this item. Oh, yeah. And sometimes I think, you know, when you think about shelving, it's not the sexiest thing on earth, but it's the most practical. And we'll spend a fortune on plastic and particle board mm -hmm. that's permanent or rickety, or just buy our origami. And by the way, if you get our HSN card tonight, you can actually get an extra $10 off on the large rack if you want to, because if you apply and you buy at that moment, we're going to give you ten dollars in savings on top of that so that's another great benefit but again you know if this many people are willing to write about a shelf i know it's crazy who's right? in love with shelves yeah Shelves well, are just like, eh, People whatever. have They're origami. Shelves. They are. I mean, <laughs> it, once you get it home and you see that it's not a weekend project to put together, yes. it's instant gratification because it just comes out of the box and you start organizing as soon as you get it. Oh, it's wow. not something you're putting off for weeks and weeks. Now, this guy right here for the crafters out there, we talked about how my wife Kelly's a crafter. Right. She has one of these uh, in a closet in her uh, craft room. What's neat about this one, though, is that, first of all, to put it in a size perspective, I mean, that's a full-size cricket on top right there. And you right. can see, still got a lot of room over here on the side. These bins right here are available yes. as well. I think it's I, a three pack. Yeah. It's a three pack of vents. They're called the cubes. We also too. have the four pack of the magnetic shelf liners right here. that I love these. So because you know, these are wide spaces up here on top on purpose, right? Yes. And if you don't want anything to fall through, ask about the four pack of the magnetic and they're liners. magnets. Yeah, those are the magnets right there. So you've got all these different features. I'm just going to real quick open and close this guy a couple times just so people can see how easy this is to do because it really is simple. You know, I'm not what you'd call a trained professional with this. It's, <laughs> there is no school for this. You just sort of 
right. you know, you use your origami and you see how simple this is to do. I mean, it is a named after the ancient Japanese art of paper folding for a reason, because it is this simple. So this is gonna be the best dorm furniture you've ever seen. Oh, yeah. If you're a parent and you got a kid in college, you gotta get this, because you're gonna stop renting trailers to move their stuff back and forth. That's a great point, yeah. 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 No, I'm telling you, it, it's that simple to do. You know, if you have a business where you go to trade shows or maybe you go to, you know, craft shows or uh, flea markets, this is awesome for all the, we get phone calls from people who use these for that all the well, time. Well, you said you have a friend of yours who's an artist. Yes, Brenda. And she yeah. has her entire booth is set up with every version origami. of origami you can think of. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it just makes sense. And again, I just go back to this idea of how many of us have a ton of crafting supplies. You know what happens, and you know this, is if it's not organized, you don't use it. When you get all your crafting goodies you found today from Anna or Crafter's Companion or from whoever was on today, and it's all really neat and handy and organized mm -hmm. and you can have access to it, then you'll really use it all. And for most of us, you roll this out of the, the, the closet, you roll it up to your kitchen or dining room table, right. you work off of it, do all your crafting, and guess what? You're not covering your ditch kitchen table with junk for weeks because all your crafting supplies are everywhere, because we used to do that. You put it back on here, you roll it, roll away, it away, and you can have dinner with the family that night. Right. And it really is a game changer, and it's funny to talk about a shelf so passionately, yeah. but as you said, on .com right now, there are more than 2,000 perfect five-star reviews on this shelf. I mean, come on. I mean, that's crazy, right? That's a lot but of you, shelf But you love. know why? Because there's never been a shelf like this before. True. That's At the true. end of the day, we're all used to particle board, used to plastic or metal things that are never going to move. And this does move. You want to do the colors one more time? Sure, yeah. Let's go through them because we're going to need we some go. time for this. All right. So here's the pewter, the original color that started it all. It's the most industrial, in my opinion, of all of them. Down by Suzanne. Black. We have the beautiful solid black color down there. Next to that, we've got the white. Then we have the vintage bronze right here. And then the we just trust us, it's vintage bronze. It's vintage bronze. <laughs> it is vintage bronze. It's like bronze. a little bit browner than black. It is. And then we've got the purple sitting right here. Now, I'm going to bring the other ones out here. This is the amethyst. <laughs> <laughs> we have the fuchsia. Here's the fuchsia. And by the way, the fuchsia is the most popular color right now. It's, it's brand new. You know yeah, that? It's a great yeah, color. that's a brand new color. So, amethyst over here. Whoop, can you see my hands? Amethyst over here, fuchsia over here. Okay, there we go. All right. Next one is going to be red. This one's easy. I can't mess this one up. This red is, is red. red. There's red. It's a great color, too. It's a great red. Uh, this is going to be the sage. I'm going to do the greens again. We'll line them up. So there's the sage. Oh, and there's 30 left of the sage. Here is the turquoise. This is the mint. Then we have the ever popular jade. And the last one that's going to be coming out is the teal. People are working very hard. I think this hard. is going to be an Olympic sport eventually. I think it is. So, <laughs> so we go teal, jade, mint, turquoise, and the sage. Right, okay, there moving there on. Sage. There Here goes sage. Here we go. Sage. So many choices. You got 30 seconds. All right, don't worry about it. I got this. <laughs> the next one coming out is going to be the orange. <laughs> we all know what orange looks like. And There's the orange. Fun? It's like bright orange. Here's the navy blue. And, and one more coming in from way out in center field. Here we go. <laughs> Platinum. <laughs> and that's all your colors. All right, and don't forget today, of course, we have five flex pays. Everything ships for a mere five dollars. That's it. One five dollar bill will ship all of these goodies. And origami's not a small box. Dude. You're gonna love